technical analysis with doji candlestick patterns, which can be bearish, bullish, or neutral depending on the candles before and after them. This most recent doji is likely going to be neutral to bearish since it appears in front of an uptrend and is followed immediately by a red candle trading and closing below it. Indeed, there's more follow through to bearish sentiment with consecutive closes lower. And for additional bearish context, you may also recognize the downswing was from a larger evening star pattern, which like the morning star pattern, can sometimes contain the doji for the second candle in more of a directional context. The chart drops back onto support from the previous upswing and holds firmly, with a doji that's bullishly engulfed. A green doji bullishly engulfed at an established support area, along with increased volume, leading to the placement of the theoretically neutral doji into a highly bullish position. On to the next example that starts with an established uptrend, which has recently seen the formation of more bearish candles. If we look at just closing prices and focus on areas like the last three closing prices that are close to a horizontal line, we can better highlight the flat movement and indecisive sentiment in the market during this period. Naturally, there will be dojis here, but in the broader context, they are producing neutral to bearish sentiment since they've formed after the bearish star a few candles back, and their overall high to low ranges have formed within the bearish star's price range, which has been followed by this neutral to bearish movement. A few consecutive closes below the dojis and the bearish star clarify and confirm building bearish sentiment. And similar things could be said about the bearish context of this doji. Later over here price is rising and there's a gravestone doji, but nothing bearish really comes of it because price generally trades above its high immediately, and it's mostly surrounded by green candles. In contrast, this normal doji is found within a mostly neutral context to highlight indecision in the market when the chart moves relatively flat during this short period. Now, what do you get when you combine a gravestone doji with a dragonfly doji? Well, in this case, you get a red spinning top to highlight neutral to bearish sentiment as the uptrend begins to pause once again. Bearish to neutral candles follow, but their sentiment is not built upon further with price closing under them. This candle somewhere in between a normal balanced doji and a gravestone doji since its thin real body is somewhere near the lower half but not exactly near the middle or the bottom. Price does close under its low but the candles have longer lower wicks. Not quite bull hammer candles since they're not in an established downtrend and not quite hanging man candles since they're hardly the highest candles within the established uptrend. Overall, they're quite neutral since the following candles remain well above the lows of these two candles with longer lower wicks. It's a bit easier to see the flatter pause when just looking at closing prices. And overall, you could say the wider area has been a pause with a slight incline in the middle of price action with similarities to the three methods rising pattern. Here's a bearish star and the candle right after it could be called a dragonfly doji but it's not bullish since it doesn't appear in an established downtrend. Then the large red candle after it confirms the bearish sentiment from the bearish shooting star by closing under their lows, which begins the development of a possible bearish reversal range if price cannot quickly close over 42 in the near future. Here's another case of dojis in a neutral to bearish situation, a doji bearishly engulfed, followed by another doji to keep the market relatively flat. Essentially the combination of a bearish engulfing and bearish harami pattern. Down here there's more bearish progress since the doji is bearishly engulfed by a hanging man type candle as well but is instead followed by a large red candle to more rapidly reverse price back down this time, now approaching the range of the last upswing point. 
support is expectedly encountered in what is actually a historically significant area, since price has often stalled and reversed in this range, it's not too surprising to see decisive breakouts occur after periods of stalling and indecision where dojis often occurred during the flatter movement. Starting the next chart will be some clear swing points for long-term reversals. The upswing point centers around bull hammer and bullish kicking pattern characteristics, while dark cloud cover defines the end of the uptrend. Together, these reversal candles provide good reference to place a large Fibonacci retracement on the chart. A doji is the first sign of opposition to the downtrend as it forms near a retracement level and is followed by volatile short-term trading which essentially keeps the chart in a wide range, slightly drifting down between the Fibonacci level centering around 26 and 24. In this case, the doji of course doesn't mark any reversal point but rather marks the transition towards more neutral to bullish sentiment, marking the first area of major opposition to the initially steep downtrend. The newest doji naturally leans more neutral to bearish since it appears in front of rising price, and recently it's also part of a bearish harami pattern that has formed over the last two candles. Then the doji is bearishly engulfed by a hanging man candle to emphasize the shift from neutral to growing bearish sentiment. Naturally, we now have a good reference for resistance, which is reaffirmed by a more decisive bearish engulfing pattern, which actually highlights the formation of a broader continuation with a minor double top. Later, price is even more volatile, so there aren't precise swing points around the same range centering around 26 for quite some time. However, we can still see price stalling and concentrating around that area to highlight the continued influence of the range in the long-term context.